Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Voitech, aka Lex from the Proven Helper channel. Today, I'm doing a video about Windows 7 crashing. Uh, I've been having a problem with uh, my version of Windows 7 ever since I did a clean install, which sounds pretty strange. And last night, my computer rebooted, you know, in the middle of the night, and I see this error message and basically I received a blue screen of death okay and um, you see this locale ID I looked it up let me just fire that up for you so I was just researching what can I do um, to fix this problem and I tried some of these things that were recommended from the Microsoft site but then I decided to do something else that is I right clicked on my computer I click manage and I wanted to uh, look at the event viewer and see what I can dig up so I click the event viewer here and I'm interested in reading about error messages so I expand that now okay first I see this bonjour service which I know it's really related to uh, my iPhone and I'm not very interested in that one so let's see I'm gonna keep digging keep digging okay WMI so I double click that and at the bottom you can read what the error is about and you can look that up because if you want your computer to run it quicker I suggest you look up all these errors and do what the instructions say to fix it but right now I'm trying to find a particular problem so let me find it okay I think I found the location so it's under application errors okay uh, in the past seven days I received four errors this this problem is ongoing and um, it's pretty annoying I just keep getting a little messages saying you know Windows Explorer crashed blah 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 anywho I just looked through here and I was trying to find something strange basically and what I keep finding is this msvcrt.dll and right here it says faulting module faulting application name so see it's related to explorer.exe which is the thing that keeps crashing on me and here are some of the recent crash events so basically this thing's been crashing I think since I built the computer let me go through some of these just so I could prove to you that it's always that file and it's always Explorer so okay this actually has something else so let's go down oh okay the next one's back to Explorer and this module and double clicking you could pull up more information so I keep getting a certain error related to a certain module and I just did a fresh install of Windows in at the end of September alright so I looked it up on Wikipedia and I found out that msvcrt.dll um, they, they are a part of a runtime library, uh, Microsoft Visual C runtime library, okay? So, I thought, hey, let me uninstall this and use Windows Update to reinstall it and see how it goes. So, by having a problem with this file, um, there could be several reasons why I'm having a problem. One reason could be malware, but I, I doubt that because I just installed, you know, a fresh OS. And then right after I did that, I installed Norton 360. So it is possible, but I'm kind of doubting that. Um, and you know what? On Wikipedia, I found out that problems with the DLL files are sometimes referred to as DLL hell. And you can read more about that on Wikipedia. But... For the purpose of this video and showing you how I'm going to go about fixing this because I, I just remembered that I did have a similar issue 
and I did fix it. And here's what I did. So I'm going to go to Control Panel, click on Programs, Uninstall Program. Okay, here I'm just going to type in Micro. Okay, so as you can see, there's a bunch of these files. Okay, and I actually don't know which one of these is the offending file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall every Microsoft Visual C++. Okay, so I'm going to uninstall, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 software packages, okay, that I'm going to use Windows Update and have it reapply these packages but before I do the Windows update I'm gonna uninstall all these reboot then do Windows update because that's always the correct way so let's just start the process and I'm gonna speed this up for you guys because obviously this will take a long time This one popped up with something different, but still, I'm just going to uninstall it. I don't want to take the chance, you know, of doing all this work and not fixing the problem. I think by uninstalling all these um, Microsoft Visual C++ applications and then reinstalling them through Windows Update is the best course of action. If I had the time to really troubleshoot this, I could keep digging, and I'm sure I'll find the answer, but, you know, that does take a lot of time, so. I am just trying to solve my problem as quickly as possible, which is probably what you want to do. All right. So, now let me just search for C++. Okay, there's nothing there. Now, now my friends, I'm going to have to reboot my computer. And then I'm going to run a Windows Update. So I was just closing down all my applications, getting ready to reboot, when I noticed the little yellow exclamation point right here. So what I'm going to do is shut down so it installs updates and then shuts down the computer. So I'm going to shut down. You're not going to see this part of the video because... Um, Obviously, I can't record the screen and shut down at the same time, but um, just wanted to bring that to your attention. Um, you definitely want this to happen. Basically, I think it's going to start installing those uh, Visual C++ um, applications during the shutdown process. So let's see. So I'm just taping this with my iPhone. And... This is exactly what happened as soon as I hit the shutdown button. So it just applied one kind of update. That's about it. All right, just rebooted. Let's see what it installed. There we go. So it already installed Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 redistributable <laughs> that's a mouthful anyway so yes it did it definitely did that which is pretty interesting and let me just check my event viewer by right clicking on my computer then manage I'm just curious if there was any new um, application events So right now it's 124. No, the last one was 1050 in the morning. Okay. And actually that's true. I should have thought about that. It would have gave me a message that Explorer crashed. Okay. So now 
Now it might help if I fire up Internet Explorer because I'm going to be doing some updates. All right, so here's a little trick with Internet Explorer. Just press your Alt key, and then this menu pops up. Click on Tools, then click on Windows Update. No important updates available. Interesting. For optional. Great. So you know what I'm figuring? I think um, that this is the latest version that I actually need of this application. And for some reason, there was a conflict between, I had, I don't know, I'll say eight of them before. And I will update in the comments if the error comes back. But I remember I fixed this error before. I just never made a video for you guys. So if you're a Windows Explorer, that exe file is crashing try this out just uninstall all the microsoft visual c plus plus redistributables <laughs> and uh and then just have windows do it on its own install it on its own and see if that fixes your problem i'm pretty sure it fixed my problem but like i said i'll come back to this video and i'll enter in the comment if that's not the case all right guys if you um, found this video useful, you know what to do. You gotta hit the thumbs up button. And if you're not a subscriber, you might as well subscribe because I do a lot of these very useful tips that kind of, you know, remove headaches from your life, so especially with computers, cars, and cell phones. Alright, guys, take care. Take it easy.